So we've seen a trend of gaming versions of everything, but what I've been most curious about is gaming desks. Howdy howdy guys, Ponchato here, and today we'll be checking out the desk I'm sitting at right now, the Daedalus M1 from Gamedius. It has RGB lighting, the biggest mouse pad I have ever seen, and a couple other very useful features. But is a gaming desk like this worth it? Let's find out. Compared to a typical desk, which are normally just a surface and that's about it, the Daedalus has several unique features that make it tailored for PC gaming. First and most obvious is the entire surface is a mouse pad. Rather, it comes with a gigantic mouse pad that exactly fits on top of the desk. It seems like GameDS took the trend of ever larger mouse pads covering up more and more area of your desk and brought it to its logical conclusion of just making the entire desk a mouse pad. Other than being huge, the mouse pad is mostly just like a normal mouse pad. It has a smooth surface on top with very little drag, which makes it great for gaming. It has a grippy rubber underside to keep it in place, and I didn't have any problems with the entire pad sliding on the desk, especially after having the keyboard, monitor, and PC holding it all down. But the mouse pad has a big feature. It's water resistant. So if you dump your glass over while wrecking scrubs online, the mouse pad won't be ruined and it's actually pretty easy to keep it clean. Keep in mind it's water resistant, not waterproof. So a bit of liquid will still be absorbed, but significantly less than with a normal mouse pad. The next feature that actually stood out to me more than the huge mouse pad is the cable management options underneath the desk, which are fantastic. On normal desks, I always use zip ties or Velcro loops to try and keep cables organized and keep them from hanging down and getting in the way. The Daedalus comes with a huge elastic mesh support for cables, which keeps the cables right up against the underside of the desk. No zip ties, no Velcro loops, no hassle. You just route the cables through the mesh and they're kept clean and organized. It also has a power strip holder at the back, keeping it easy to reach and plug things in. Overall, the cable management features might actually be my favorite aspect of this desk. Now, if you don't want to use the mouse pad, you can also just leave it off. The desk surface is slightly rougher than a regular desk, but the hard surface works fine with mice and it's even easier to keep clean. If you don't like or need your entire desk to be a mouse pad, the Daedalus works perfectly set up like that. You do have to be mindful of the buttons for controlling the RGB lights though. The controller is in the front right corner, which is easy to reach, but also easy to accidentally hit if you're not using the mouse pad. And since the buttons are touch sensitive, accidentally brushing across the controller might turn off your lights or change the color effect without you knowing. On that subject, the RGB lighting is pretty sweet. It's made up of two strips that go on the left and right sides of the desk that go almost the entire width. They have really nice saturation and brightness, especially in a darker room, but even in bright light, they are still very colorful. There are 15 lighting effects, including everyone's favorite rainbow wave, a couple animated ones with interesting effects, and the usual solid colors. The controller built into the desktop has touch sensitive buttons for turning the LEDs on and off, cycling the effect, and changing the speed or brightness. The only downside is the lights aren't really visible when you're sitting at the desk unless the edge of your desk is near a wall or something to reflect that light back. So it's really more for ambience or to show off in front of your friends. Oh, and the lights are powered by a USB plug, which can be plugged into a PC, or if you're running low on USB ports, you can use a standard USB wall charger as well, since the LEDs don't require a PC to run or control. When it comes to assembly, all the tools that you'll need are included. It is a bit challenging with one person, but I'm not afraid, so. I did it myself. Once you get everything out of the box, the first step is attaching the feet to both legs. It just has a standard bolt threading, so you tighten down by hand and then finish with the included wrench. The feet also give you about one inch of adjustment if your floor is not quite level. Next, you mount the three crossbars to one of the legs. The included instructions make it easy to see which bar goes where. Now, don't tighten it down completely here or you'll have trouble bolting them down to the other leg. Once the crossbars are attached to both legs, you tighten down all the bolts and make sure it's all sturdy. Next, with the desk surface face down on the ground, you move the assembled frame onto the desk, line up the mounting holes, and attach the frame to the desktop. Actually, it's only four bolts here, so it's very easy to do. Once that's attached, you need to plug in both RGB strips and the controller, all of which plugs in on the bottom side of the desk. After that, the power strip holder bolts into the bottom of the desk on what will be the back side once the desk is upright. And the final step is mounting the cable management mesh to the underside. It's held on with elastic strips, so once all eight bolts are in place, it's held tight to the bottom surface of the desk, but there is enough slack to fit cables through. The assembled desk is sturdy and definitely more unique than typical plain wood tables. Because of how big it is, there's plenty of room to have a PC, monitor, mouse, keyboard, and whatever else on top. It's 59 inches wide, 26 inches deep, and 30 inches tall, or in metric, 150 centimeters wide, 66 deep, and 75 tall. 
The frame is steel and supports up to 220 pounds, so there's plenty of weight capacity for multiple monitors or for a large PC. Now I think the RGB lights are what most people will notice first, but the main selling point to me is the excellent, easy cable management. The power strip holder at the back of the desk and huge mesh net to tuck all the cables in keeps the desk looking very clean and it's really easy to remove or replace cables when swapping out components on top. The water resistant mouse pad is also great in case you ever knock over your drink, which I may or may not have done multiple times throughout my PC gaming career. Overall, this desk is very nice and to answer the question in the title, if you'll be using it for PC or even console gaming, a gaming desk like the Game DS Daedalus M1 is definitely worth buying. Follow the link in the description to learn more. Hit subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of new videos as soon as they're up. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I want to hear from you. What kind of desk are you using right now? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped. And I'll see you in the next video. Dumping my water out on the desk like that was a test, a true test of my willpower. All of my instincts were screaming at me. No, you must keep the glass upright, you fool. You absolute dunderhead, turn back now. But it turns out it mostly just beads up on the surface and it's pretty easy to clean anyway. That's enough daredevil antics for today.